Thank you for returning. In this video, I am going to tell you how to name organic compounds which have functional groups. A functional group is an atom or a group of atoms which is combined in a specific way and it is attached to the alkane, alkene or alkyne in such a way that it becomes the site of reactivity or function in the organic compound and hence the name given is functional group. These functional groups when we name an organic compound are usually written as the secondary suffix. But some functional groups are always written as the secondary prefixes because they are treated as substituents. If you have an organic compound which has more than one functional group, then it's natural that the different functional groups have different reactivity. So the one which is more reactive would be obviously a stronger, it will be more responsible for the reactivity of that compound and hence that functional group which is more reactive would be the primary functional group while another one which is maybe less reactive will become a, a secondary prefix or it becomes a substituent. So an organic compound which has more than one functional group can have only one primary a functional group and the rest are all treated as substituents. Now I have made a list of some of the functional groups here and these functional groups I have tried to arrange them according to their reactivity till ether. Let us look here alkyl and benzyl group is RC6H5 is the group structure we know alkyl is methyl ethyl propyl it is represented by R and benzyl is C6H5, one hydrogen less from benzene and that hydrogen which is removed becomes the active site which attaches itself to the main hydrocarbon. They are always written as prefixes that is alkyl or benzyl. The first functional group is a halide. A halide is as you know is the 17th group of the, um, of the elements and it consists of halogens consist of fluorine, chlorine, bromine, iodine and estatine. Estatine is very um, volatile and hence we do not consider that. We have the halides usually are fluorides, chlorides, bromides or iodides and these are written as halo compounds. For example, if you have this butane and bromine has been substituted in butane, so this compound would be known as 1 because the substitution is at the first carbon, it is 1-bromobutane. But before coming to the actual naming of these, let me tell you about these different uh, functional groups. After the halides, we have a nitro group. The nitro group is represented by NO2 and it is always written as a prefix and the prefix is nitro. The next is ether. Ethers are the group is R O R where R is the alkyl group to which this has been attached or the parent hydrocarbon to which the O R dash is attached. R dash means that the R and the R dash may be different methyl groups uh, sorry different alkyl groups. It is always written as alkoxy that is as a prefix. After this come the carboxylic acid which is which is COOH group it is written as if it is written as a prefix it's a carboxy and if it is written as a suffix it is oic acid carboxylate ion is COO negative you have a metal usually because this is an ion it is and it's negatively charged it will be attached with a metal so usually a monovalent cation like sodium so you could have um, the carboxylate ion is always written as a suffix and it is O8 and since ionic compounds are more reactive than uh, covalent compounds therefore this would be highly reactive and is not written as a prefix ever is always written as a, a suffix. So for example you have sodium benzoate. Sodium okay this is not benzene so this is sodium butanoate. Then we come to the sulfonic acid. A sulfonic acid is SO3H 
and it is also written always as a suffix that is sulfonic acid. For example, this is benzene sulfonic acid. There comes an ester. An ester is represented by COOR dash and the prefix that we use is alkoxy carbonyl and if it is written as a suffix, it is an O8. Acyl halides are halides with CO to them. So COX, where X would be fluorine, chlorine, bromine or iodine. They are written as a prefix. If it is a prefix, that is if it is a substituent, it is a halocarbonyl. And if it is the main, that is the primary uh, functional group, then it is an oil halide. Amides are CONH2, CONHR and CONR2, where the hydrogens are substituted by alkyl groups. And it is written as a prefix, as carbamyl, and as a suffix, it's written as an amide. Then you have nitriles, that is C triple bond N. As a prefix, it would be a cyo and a nitrile as a suffix. Aldehydes are CHO, formyl as prefix, and ul as a suffix. Ketones are CO, oxo as prefix, and on as suffix. Alcohols, OH, hydroxy or all, amines would be NH2 and the hydrogens can be, can be substituted with alkyl groups. So if they can be NHR or NR2 as prefix, they would be amino and as suffix, they would be amines. Now, according to their reactivity, amines would be the least reactive. Therefore, if there are two of them are present, they would become, an amine would always be the substituent. And even less reactive than these would be unsaturation, a double bond and the least important is an alkyne that's a triple bond. So this is a list of functional groups and groups where reactivity can take place according to their reactivity. But up from ether, that is from carboxylic acid onwards, up to ether, it is always the prefix. In the next video, we'll take the individual groups and how to name them and then in the subsequent video we do polyfunctional compounds which have got polyfunctional uh, functional groups in them thanks for watching